Okay, next day. And afternoon. As I walk through the woods, I sense a flow of magical energy that shouldn't be there. Like toxic fumes leaking from a poison jar that should have been tightly sealed. There is no mistaking it, the energy that's rising up from the bottom of the mountain behind the trees. The Great Grail that should have been destroyed, could it be a reawakening? Now that someone restarted the Holy Grail War, it's only natural that they would have an eye on that cave. And if that someone is capable of restoring what we thought was safely destroyed... <laughs> I run through the underground cavern. This is an emergency. There is no time to go back to the Emya residence. I will call for Saber only after I confirm the presence of this someone. If worse comes to worst, I will use the last remaining command spell to summon her. But... There's no time for hesitation. I have to stop the one that broke the infernal seal before the Great Grail comes back to life. I can see light coming out of the Great Grail. However, it's still weak. No more than a damn fireplace with but one match thrown in. In that case, I should still be able to stop it. I climb up the cliff, not stopping even once. A bottomless pit created in the depths of the earth. The fountain of wishes that give rise to calamity. And before this abominable wreckage. <laughs> what the fuck? It's Gilgamesh! And he's not a kid anymore. Wahaha! <laughs> awesome! Looking great! The guy just laughs all by himself. <coughs> it's okay. I don't know what he's up to, but it's not the kind of hazard that could pose a problem if left alone. Oh, <laughs> <sighs> and so I'm found out. Having run all the way here, I've got no strength left to run back. By the way, I'd like him to stop putting the weird accent on the personal part. <laughs> the golden perv, I mean servant in front of me is sporting an outfit the likes of which I've never seen before. Oh, he could just do that the whole time? Thanks. Ha ha ha! Comes the fresh yet overbearing laughter of the King of Heroes. I see, so he got turned back, rather unfortunately so. Ugh, only now do I realize what I have lost. That blonde kid was a real good guy, especially compared to this teenage punk. So nanda. Ma, sore wa tomokaku. Na, nan nanda sono fuku. He looks himself over as if looking for a stubborn piece of lint. Well, about that. Certainly, there isn't anything wrong with the clothing. 
That's because the entire thing is wrong. As far as western clothes go, that's no small issue here. Ah, speaking of aura, the guy is all sparkling. いかにもこの姿こそ俺の正式な装束。選ばれたものにしか許されない数少ない一品物だ。本編では Ha! The King of Heroes laughs anxiously, yet boldly. It goes without saying that his definition of unique is rather skewed. で、本当のところこんなところで何してるんだよ。剣文録というやつだ。俺はこの世の全てを手中にした男。その俺に知らぬ土地などあってはよが迷う。よって足を運んだ。Having said that, the King of Heroes seems to be in great delight. High places, gigantic structures and things like that must be fundamentally appealing to him. Despite being a boss character and all,俺に落ち度はない。満身せずしてなにが王か。剣薬失踪などという言葉は民どもの楽しみなのだ。そのあたり聖バーは分かっておらぬ。我が軍門に下った暁には黄金の湯船にでも浸らせてやろう。ところで
but little does he know. For that is the former stronghold of the thing he had carelessly let himself get swallowed by in the past. That's no premonition, that's more of a reenactment. Despite starting over as a child, the same thing happens. Together with his great power as the King of Heroes, it seems he is also given the fate of being raised with a carelessness skill maxed out. Although the chain of heaven is swinging around inside the Great Grail, one way or another, the King of Heroes' feet remain bound. By the way, the partner he's referring to isn't me, it's the chain. ボンビャクの市民としてそれはどうかじゃあ助けを呼んでこよう俺の場合セイバーになるけどそれでいいははいらぬ助けなど全くいらぬこんなものはあれだジャングルジムのようなものだ俺にとっては日常茶飯事助
The moment I'm at the harbor, a big storm comes. Pretty much a cataclysm. What the? The time has come. Let us begin the battle of the king who challenged the stars. You are Gobachinen, the strongest of heroes. You have come to the cave where Paya Paya, the fire dragon that plans to overthrow the kingdom, lives. However, because of the game continuation curse, your equipment and stats have been reset. Sadly, your destiny won't wait. Lord Goblin Peyang the Third. Uh. Something is speaking directly to inside my mind. The language is too ancient, and I can't make out any of it, but... なんてことだ。このカプセルは未来世界で大流行な申し申し系で基本無料だけど最終的には重課金を要求。しかしその見返りにランキング1位になったプレイヤーは世界を思い通りにできるだと。何? Well, I caught the gist of it anyway. Aren't you the red one? It's Shinji. I can't even open my eyes in this storm. Having suddenly appeared out of some far corner of the harbor, the mysterious character lets out historical laughter not unlike that of a crazed drug addict. なにものかだって何ものかだって何ものかだって何ものかだって何ものかだって何ものかだって何ものかだって何ものかだって何ものかだって何ものかだって何ものかだって何ものかだって何ものかだって何ものかだって何ものかだって何ものかだって何ものか
覚醒したライバルの力を思い知るがいい行くぞエミアこの金に明かせて集めたカプサバたちで俺のターンエンドだぜ<笑> What the fuck? Oh no! I really have to play Hanafuda? I don't know how this game works. Oh, it does it automatically, okay. I don't have to do anything. Thank God! I guess she don't want. <sighs> well, I think I kinda get how that game works. The storm is over. That whirlwind of some unknown enthusiasm is gone too, and the two of us have calmed down to the point it's kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> Yeah, I nod in response. There are times when a man must not be talked to. He cheerfully relocates to the other end of the pier. Ah, he covered himself with a cardboard box. Perching the last 30 minutes from my memory, I leave the harbor behind. Destruction of the Earth by Shinji O, thus narrowly averted, his greatest performance and the tale of the hero that battled against him will be forgotten, having never been told even once. The end. Well, that was something. Toraburu Hanafuda Travel Journal is now enabled. Farewell, Shinji O. Select under special from the main menu. Enjoy. I guess I'll do that after I finish the main game.